Hey everyone, it is Friday. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're getting ready for a nice weekend. I love milk, ice cold milk. When Janine makes a batch of her famous chocolate chip cookies, I have to have an ice cold glass of milk. It's the same story whether it's chocolate cake or, or a peanut butter sandwich. You can't eat a peanut butter sandwich with soda or, or water. It has to be milk. But I don't live on milk. I like to have solid food. I like to have a cheeseburger or, or ribs or even a steak once in a while. Now, I bring that up because the author of the book of Hebrews in the New Testament delves deeply into the identity of Jesus, who he is. He calls Jesus our high priest. He, he talks about what Jesus has done for us, his sacrifice. He talks about how we are to follow him and run the race of discipleship. But he also says this to the church that he's writing to, which is made up primarily of, of Jewish Christians. That's why it's called the book of the Hebrews. He says this in Hebrews 5, 11 to 14. We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. Ouch! Now, we certainly don't want to be infant Christians, baby Christians. Milk is good, but we need solid spiritual food. And the solid food is found in reading our Bibles regularly, studying God's Word, being faithful in prayer and worship, and in good works, works of discipleship. Our faith is not static. It needs to grow as we grow older. It needs to mature as we mature, as we deepen our relationship with God. And God is good all the time. Hey, folks, next week is spring break. And I'm going to take a one-week break from these daily messages. That means I'll start back up with these daily messages on Monday, March 22nd. In the meantime, please join us for worship this Sunday, either in person or online. And remember to spring forward, to set that clock forward on Saturday night. Have a great weekend.